we hear of him as a young boy. The next time we hear about him is in a hadith in the Sahih of the Sahih of Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim. The Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu says that my father Sayyiduna Umar radiallahu anhu once accompanied the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and they were amongst a small group of his companions in less than 10 people. And they were walking in the direction of Ibn Sayyad. Ibn Sayyad by this time hadn't quite reached the age of, matu- age of maturity, but he was close to the age of maturity. So approxim- approximately between the ages of 12 and 15. And they were playing in fortresses that were built by the Jews that were on the outskirts of Al-Madinatul Munawwara. He was playing with children. Yal'abu ma'asibyan. He was playing with children in these fortresses. So the Prophet ﷺ comes towards Ibn Sayyad. And Ibn Sayyad doesn't turn towards the Prophet ﷺ until the Prophet ﷺ slaps him on his back with his blessed palm. فَنَظَرَ إِلَيْهِ So then Ibn Sayyad, remember he's a young boy, 12 to 15, approximately that age. And he's Jewish, remember, young Jewish boy. That he looks towards the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the commentaries say it was either nadru ghadabin or nadru ghafla. That he either looked in anger towards the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or in heedlessness towards the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him, "Atashhadu anni Rasulullah." So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is with his companions. He asked this young boy, Ibn Sayyad, do you bear witness that I am the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? Now look at the response of Ibn Sayyad to the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, Ashhadu annaka rasulul ummiyina. He says, I bear witness that you are the messenger of the ummiyin, meaning you are the messenger of the Arabs. So he didn't deny that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as a prophet, but he said, you are a prophet to the Arabs. Why? Because one of three reasons. One is because he was a Jew. The Jews didn't deny that the Prophet ﷺ was a prophet from the Anbiya of Allah. They believed he was a prophet, except they believed that he was sent only to the Arabs. And not to the Banu Israel or anyone else in the world. That he was sent only to the Arabs. So one possibility is that being a Jew... And being from a Jewish household, he was just articulating his creed. The second is that there were shayateen who would give him inspiration and influence him. They told him to say this to the Prophet ﷺ. The third is that Ibn Sayyad was of the same ilk as the philosophers. And what he was trying to say to the Prophet ﷺ is, I recognize that you are a prophet, but I am in no need of you. That's one of these three possibilities as to why he said to the Prophet ﷺ, I bear witness that you are the messenger to the Arabs. So that alone is a very bizarre answer to to give to the Prophet ﷺ from a small child. But then he says to the Prophet ﷺ, أَتَّشْهَدُ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Ibn Sayyad asks the Prophet ﷺ, but do you bear witness that I am the messenger of Allah? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, آمَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ وَبِرُسُلِهِ I believe in Allah and His messengers, meaning I believe in Allah and His messengers and you're not from amongst them. But even when Ibn Sayyad asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that do you bear witness that I am the messenger of Allah? There too the scholars say that he could have meant one of two things. One is that he genuinely believed he is a prophet of Allah. The second is that he meant the literal meaning of Rasul. That he meant that do you believe that I am sent by Allah? Meaning do you believe that I am sent by Allah as a tribulation for the masses? And he wanted to hear from the Prophet wasallam whether the Prophet wasallam that he would affirm to Ibn Sayyad that he was sent by Allah as a tribulation for the masses. And if we take this interpretation of the hadith, it tells us something about the psychology of Ibn Sayyad, even as a young boy. That he has a hankering of some sort to want to be the Dajjal. 
that he asks the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Do you believe that I am sent by Allah as a tribulation over these people?" So then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asks him, "Mada tara? Tell me what is it that you see?" He says, "Yatini sadiqun wa kathibun." He said, "Sometimes a truthful person comes to me, and sometimes a liar comes to me." And this was the trait of the soothsayers in the time of the Arabs, that the soothsayers or the fortune tellers, the shayateen would come to them, and out of ten things, maybe tell them two true things and eight lies. So Ibn Sayyad at that young age had shayateen who would come to him and give him certain pieces of information. And so the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asks him, or rather before that says to him, "Khulli ta'alaik al-amr." Meaning things are confused for you. Meaning what you're seeing is not the truth. Things are confused for you, convoluted for you. Then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says to him, "Inni khabbatu lak khabi'an." I've hidden something from you. Tell me what it is. Now, what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had hidden from Ibn Sayyad was a verse of the Quran from Surah Al Dukhan. which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had concealed in his blessed heart at that time yawma ta'ti as-sama'u bi dukhanin mubin where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the day when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or rather the day when the skies will bring forth a manifest dukhan smoke so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam concealed this in his blessed heart and asked ibn sayyad i've hidden something from you tell me what it is and all ibn sayyad is able to respond with is by saying dukh he says to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam dukh so the shayateen were able to tell him just that now what he wanted to say was dukhan or the verse of the dukhan but the only information the shayateen were able to give him was dukh and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to him lan ta'du wa qadrak that you will never be able to excel beyond your limit meaning this is the limit of your knowledge and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was showing to the sahaba and leaving a lesson for us that the dajjal whether it's ibn sayyad or somebody else has a limit and he has a limit placed by allah he will never be able to go beyond that limit 